We're learning more about the 64-year-old suspect, Stephen Paddock. His brother, Eric, who is shown on the left in this picture, lives in the Orlando area. Mark Lehman of our affiliate WKMG spoke to him this morning. Eric Paddock says he feels like an asteroid has hit his family. He has no police record. He, has, he doesn't even have parking tickets, probably. There's... This is... How did you hear that he was... We got phone calls. The Las Vegas PD were cooperating with the cops. We have talked to the PD. We... <laughs> this is like you called me up and said, your next-door neighbor did this. And I'd go, wow, my next-door neighbor did that. Hmm. All I've ever seen him do is mow his yard. I'm... The fact that my brother did this is... There's no, there's nothing. I mean, there's absolutely no, Did he have we don't kids? understand. Did he have, no. you know, was there? Once again, this is our simple public record stuff. If you could, once again, your message to these people and these families. I, I, I there's not even anything I can say. I mean, um, <laughs> How do you, I mean, my brother did this. I, this is like it was done, you know, like he shot us. I mean, I, if he'd have killed my kids, I couldn't be more dumbfounded. I mean, I, it doesn't, So last there's com nothing. Last there's, communication. There's nothing. After the hurricane. I mean, I can show you the text. He said, yeah. you know, how's mom? <laughs> did you get power? You know, I mean. <laughs> that was it. There's absolutely, we have nothing, like I said, we have nothing for you. Uh, I mean, I hope someone finds out, figures out, because I, we'd like to know. You were you a close family? You guys, I mean, you know, it seems live, like a good son if he's checking on your mom. I live here. He lives in mm -hmm. Mesquite. Once again, public record stuff you'll find out. I mean, I live here. He lives in, we're not that close. I mean, we talk on the phone occasionally. He calls my mom and talks to her. There's no, no there. Mental health issues. There's no there there. Not that we know of. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he was. Did you know him to have guns? Was he an avid shooter? I mean, no, you know, not that that. Not was. an avid gun guy at all. The fact that he had those kind of weapons is. Just where the hell did he get automatic weapons? He's not. He has no military background or anything like that. So you, you, I mean, when you find out about him, like I said, he's just a. He's a guy who lived in a house in Mesquite and drove down and gambled in Las Vegas. Uh, he did stuff, eat burritos. And, I mean, <laughs> yeah. was the woman that they were looking for his girlfriend? Yes. Yeah, Mary Lou. I mean, that's why I was on the phone with the cops. Is right. because. I, I mean, I. What do you know about We were that? worried that he might have hurt her too. Police are actually describing her as his wife. Do you? So you? I don't. Well, they, they might have got married, but I don't think they're married. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's just his girlfriend. What do you know about her? How do you? She's a nice lady. I've met her three or four times. She's got a Facebook page. She sends cookies to my mom. I mean. I, does, do they have kids? Does he have kids? No. Does she? No, he doesn't have any children or anything. I mean, yeah, I, there's nothing. I'm, you know. She must be pretty feeling helpless well, when the we're police... we're shocked! I mean, we're just, it's like, you think it's a, you know, except that it came in, all five of my phones in the house and the cells and everything lit up at the same time. You know, I'd have thought it was one of my friends. Joking. What? I mean, when you get a phone call that says your brother, you know, <laughs> just killed a bunch of people. So, this is not. So, uh, what are you doing? What are you going to do now? I mean, what is your next move? We're going to hope you people stay yeah. at least on the sidewalk. I'm answering. I mean, we're answering the phone and talking to random people, but we're telling them we're going to put out a, a like a five line statement that mm -hmm. says what I've just told you. Uh, that. We're shocked, horrified, completely dumbfounded.
exactly. He's just a guy who lives in Mesquite who likes burritos. Yeah. That is how Eric Paddock described his brother, Stephen Paddock, obviously shocked. You can just tell finding him. out. He He's can't even dazed. complete sentences. He's yeah. completely dazed. We want to thank our affiliate in Florida there who, who provided that interview for us. But you're getting a sense of the relationship uh, between these two brothers. It seems like they were texting at the height of Irma when uh, Eric may have been in touch with his brother with regards to their mother having power or not. But clearly, this is a brother and a family that's been shocked by the news. Well,